hi welcome now i'm going to show you how to insert uh, or drag and drop uh, pivot table columns okay what i have here is the data of uh, products and uh, uh, each products uh, uh, their respective customer name and the category whether it is new or old and the country it belong belongs to and the sales in uh, january february and four months uh, okay all these four months so i have about uh, 277 records of uh, all these products products may be product names may be repeated because of the different customers and category and countries uh, okay so this is our source data and i'm going to create a pivot table for this okay so what i'm going to do is i just select the full list and uh, i'll go here insert pivot table okay it will say select a table or range what data what is the source data table or range which i already selected here and uh, now i am going to go to a new worksheet or existing worksheet okay i already have a blank worksheet here so i'll put a existing worksheet uh, location is i just go there and uh, select it in the uh, uh first cell or any cells in the worksheet where 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 i want the pivot table to be okay and uh, the other things uh, external data source and add this data to the data model all this i just leave it for a uh, uh, leave it unchecked for a while okay now what i have is i have a product Th this is the pivot table fields selection pan okay this one and the pivot table area is uh, highlighted here okay so uh, what i'm going to do i am going to just select one of these fields and put it here okay and there are uh, four uh, four areas here either one is the filter and uh, columns rows and values okay filters wh what what field you want it to be filter okay use it for filter columns are column wise fields and rows are row wise fields and the in the middle table what is the calculation you want to get it uh, all the meshes uh, okay so what i do is i just uh, put it the product in the row and the count of product in the values so wh when you just drag and drop it will select you will do a uh, initial default uh, calculation is count of that column okay so what i have is uh, i just close it and uh, this is the pivot table i have it here okay and now if i want a pivot table like this already okay how can i insert or uh, uh, remove columns in my pivot table list okay so wha uh, what i can do is i just click okay i have a pivot table here i just right click okay then uh, show field list okay then the pivot table can appears again okay i will tell you one more time you just uh, just uh, select okay any of the records or the full uh, pivot table column show field list okay it appears again what you need to do is i want the customer now okay so you select the customer also put it here okay this way you can include a column okay or i want the category in column wise okay drag and drop okay the uh, immediately the pivot table changes according to your selection here okay now just click ok now you can see the uh, customer name and the columns are ok select or they are in the pivot table now what you are going to do is that you can down arrow is the down arrow will give you a column wise selection ok so and uh, this one is a row wise selection okay R okay fine so now again i want to remove the column customer how can i do that show field list okay go to the customer 
okay when you click there uh, remove field okay just remove it okay it will remove the column okay this is the way you can add or uh, remove new columns uh, or uh, add new columns to your pivot table by just uh, adding just uh, drag and drop first you select the pivot table uh, field list okay you can do this way right click uh, click then the pivot table and uh, okay okay it is not showing now because it is already there okay you just click right click show field list okay it will show the pan okay now you can drag and drop okay for removing purpose you just uh, right click click then you, uh, not right click just click then remove field okay you can remove the column or field okay uh, i hope uh, this video is helpful to you if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel give a like to my uh, my video and also you can see in the screen there is a uh, alan sam there is a logo is uh, 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 popping there it, it, just click that one you can subscribe to my channel okay and also uh, leave your comments and valuable suggestions it will help me to improve my videos as well as your problems or any any problem you need a solution in excel just leave it there either myself or other subscribers can give a reply to you okay and god bless you okay